Have you ever wondered why some people excel in managing their finances, while others struggle to make sound financial decisions? Morgan Housel's psychology of money theory holds the key to unlocking this mystery. Through his captivating exploration, Housel reveals the profound impact of human behavior and emotions on financial choices. We will delve into the depths of fear, greed, and overconfidence, and their undeniable influence in our wealth-building journey in this video. Morgan Housel's insightful saying, financial success is not a hard science, it's a soft skill where how you behave is more important than what you know, emphasizes the importance of understanding that achieving financial prosperity goes beyond mere numbers and calculations. While financial planning involves facts, figures, and analysis, the true essence lies in mastering the soft skills that shape our financial behavior. It recognizes that our attitudes, emotions, and decision-making abilities play a crucial role in managing money effectively. In The Psychology of Money from 2020, Morgan Housel takes a close look at personal finance from the perspective of how people behave when it comes to money. He believes that understanding our behaviors is more important for financial success than just knowing facts and figures. Being smart isn't the only thing that matters in managing money well. Our behavior plays a bigger role. Even if someone is brilliant, they can still make bad financial decisions if they let their emotions take over. On the other hand, regular people without formal financial education can become wealthy if they have good behavioral skills. It's all about making the right choices and sticking to good financial behaviors. No amount of intelligence or knowing can save an individual from the consequences of poor financial decisions. By considering financial success as a soft skill, Housel reminds us that honing our emotional intelligence and self-awareness is equally vital as acquiring technical knowledge. Developing those soft skills empowers individuals to make financial decisions, adapt to changing circumstances, and maintain a balanced approach toward money management. It's the marriage of these soft skills with hard facts that lead to enduring financial success. Before we dive deeper, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to this channel for more incredible, life-changing content. Now, let's move on. Let's look at six key lessons from Morgan Housel's psychology of money theory. Key Lesson 1. The Power of Compounding When something compounds, it means that a little growth today can fuel even more growth in the future. It's like a snowball effect that keeps getting bigger as it rolls downhill. This compounding magic can lead to astonishing results that might seem too good to be true. Take Warren Buffett, for example. Out of his over $100 billion net worth, a whopping $81.5 billion came after he turned 65. It's mind-boggling, right? The secret behind his success isn't some fancy investment strategy. It's simply the power of time. If you want to be a better investor, the most crucial thing you can do is increase your time horizon. Time is the superhero of investing, and it can work wonders for your money. You don't always have to chase the highest returns, as they often come and go like shooting stars. Instead, focus on earning pretty good returns that you can stick with over the long haul. That's when compounding goes wild and can work its magic on your investments. So, give your money the gift of time, and let the power of compounding work its wonders for you. Stick to your plan, be patient, and watch your wealth grow over time. Key Lesson number 2. The Key to Staying Wealthy There's a significant difference between getting wealthy and staying wealthy. Getting money often involves taking risks, being optimistic, and putting yourself out there to seize opportunities. However, the key to staying wealthy is a whole different ballgame. A combination of frugality and paranoia becomes essential. Good investing isn't just about making brilliant decisions. It's primarily about consistently avoiding major mistakes. Staying wealthy requires a humble approach and the fear that what we've earned can disappear quickly. Embracing frugality and acknowledging that luck plays a role in our success are vital aspects of keeping our wealth intact. The ability to endure and remain in the game for the long haul is what sets apart those who stay wealthy from those who don't. A survival mentality is crucial because, in the world of finance, few games are worth risking everything for, and compounding only works if we give our assets years and years to grow. While planning is essential, it's equally important to expect the unexpected. Not every plan goes according to plan, and that's where the margin of safety comes in. Having room for error through a frugal budget, flexible thinking, and a loose timeline allows us to navigate various outcomes successfully. Maintaining a barbell personality, a combination of optimism about the future and healthy paranoia about potential obstacles is vital. This mindset helps us stay vigilant, anticipate challenges, and safeguard our wealth. Key Lesson 3. It is never enough. 
Enough means realizing that you don't need to constantly chase more and more. When you have an insatiable appetite for more, you might end up regretting it later. The trickiest financial skill is knowing when to stop moving the goalpost. It's tough, but crucial. If your expectations always rise as you achieve more, you'll never feel satisfied no matter how much you work. It can get dangerous when the desire for more money, power, or prestige grows faster than your happiness. Comparing yourself to others can be a problem. The bar of comparison is set so high that hardly anyone can reach it. So, it's a never-ending battle that can't be won. The only way to win is not to fight at all and accept that having enough, even if it's less than others, is okay. It's not worth risking what you already have and need just to get something you don't have and don't need. Some things are never worth taking a risk for, no matter how tempting the potential gain may be. Living below your means helps you avoid the stress of trying to keep up with others and their lifestyles. Being content with enough can lead to greater peace and financial well-being. Key Lesson 4 Optimism and Pessimism in Finance Optimism and pessimism play contrasting roles when it comes to our outlook on money and life. Optimism is like a bright and hopeful sales pitch, presenting the belief that positive outcomes are likely over time, even with some setbacks along the way. On the other hand, pessimism feels like someone offering genuine help, preparing us for potential challenges, and being cautious about risks. When something negative happens financially, it often affects a lot of people and captures widespread attention because money is a universal concern. Pessimists tend to predict future outcomes solely based on present trends, without considering the adaptability and resilience of markets. They may overlook the potential for progress and positive changes. In contrast, progress often unfolds slowly, making it challenging to notice its impact. However, setbacks tend to strike quickly and demand our immediate attention. Pessimistic narratives are more accessible to create because they rely on recent and fresh negative events. They don't require much effort to put together, as the pieces are readily available. On the other hand, optimistic narratives demand a broader perspective. Looking back at a longer history and understanding developments over time, it requires more effort and memory to piece together the full picture of progress and growth. Both optimism and pessimism have their merits, and finding a balance between the two is crucial. Key Lesson 5 No One Is Crazy Understanding the complexities of financial decision-making is essential, because every choice people make with money is influenced by their unique mental model of the world. People's behaviors with money may seem irrational or crazy, but there's always a rationale behind their actions. The interesting thing is that people's perspectives on money are shaped by various factors – different generations, family backgrounds, income levels, cultural values, geographical locations, economic conditions, job opportunities, and even luck. These diverse experiences lead to different lessons and beliefs about money. While in theory, people should make investment decisions based on their goals and the available options, reality often proves otherwise. Research shows that people's lifetime investment decisions are heavily influenced by the experiences they had in their early adulthood, anchoring their behavior to the past. Everyone has a unique view of money, shaped by their life's journey, and this can create vastly different perceptions of what's considered outrageous or sensible. Financial decisions rarely rely solely on numbers and spreadsheets. Emotions, personal history, ego, pride, marketing, and other peculiar incentives all come into play. Whether it's at the dinner table or in a company meeting, these elements blend to create a personal narrative that guides one's financial choices. If you find this video informative, like and subscribe to this channel for more educative content. Let's continue. Key Lesson 6 – Margin of Safety The margin of safety, also known as room for error or redundancy, is a crucial concept when navigating a world governed by probabilities and uncertainties, something that encompasses almost everything related to money. Embracing this notion of room for error can be the key to safely managing our financial journeys and achieving long-term success. Having a gap between what we hope will happen in the future and what we need to happen is what gives us endurance. Endurance, in turn, allows the magic of compounding to work its wonders over time. Compounding is a powerful force in finance, but it requires time and room for error to flourish. One of the most important aspects of financial planning is acknowledging that our plans may not unfold exactly as we expect. There's never a moment when we can be so sure that we can bet on everything without any risks. The world is uncertain, and we must prepare for the unexpected. History has shown us that even good ideas can turn bad when taken to extremes. Embracing room for error is a wise approach, because it recognizes the inherent uncertainty, randomness, and chance in life. 
By increasing the gap between our expectations and potential outcomes, we can better navigate uncertainties while still being resilient enough to bounce back. However, there are reasons why people tend to avoid room for error. The belief that some must know the future can create discomfort in acknowledging the opposite, that we don't have all the answers. Additionally, some may think that not fully exploiting an accurate view of the future is harmful to their goals. To guard against the damage that can arise from uncertainties, it's vital to avoid relying solely on single points of failure. A single point of failure is when everything relies on one thing working perfectly, and if that thing breaks, catastrophe ensues. A common example is relying solely on a paycheck to fund all short-term expenses without any savings as a buffer. We hope you've gained valuable knowledge and a fresh perspective on the relationship between human behavior and financial success. As you navigate your financial journey, remember the importance of understanding your emotions, adopting a long-term view, and making informed decisions. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content.